Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Instructional Technology Facilitator at Gravely Hill Middle School in Eflin, North Carolina. This video is about organizing Google Classroom by units. So one drawback to Google Classroom is that there are no unit buckets and everything is one long, as you see here for my uh, PD Google Classroom, it's one long continuous feed. So what happens in June when you want to review what you went in and, and learned in September? Well, I met a teacher who told me exactly how he conquers this problem. And the way he does is, so if I go back up to my classes, is he makes a different class for each, un uh, for each unit. And so at the beginning of a new unit, you simply give the students the new code and you're in. So if September is my enlightenment, and in June we finished the Cold War, and now we're studying for the cumulative final. I can go all the way, all I have to do is click in here in Enlightenment with my, uh, my Rousseau picture and I can see my Enlightenment content rather than having to scroll on and on forever. And so that's organizing Google Classroom by unit so that students can then go back and access earlier content very easily.